Welcome to this video where we will be viewing all the panels and applications of a telemedicine application that we built recently. So let's get started with the admin panel first. As an admin or a super admin, the entrepreneur or the owner of the telemedicine app can first sign into the application using the basic login credentials. On signing in, the first screen that the admin can view is basically the dashboard. Dashboard has all the statistical details of how many enrolled doctors or the pharmacies or how many registered patients does he have on the platform. This also includes the number of total visits that the doctor and the patient have had. Also the total revenue that the platform has earned. Right below that, there are some latest visit details. The admin can view those and along with those, he or she can also view the status of that latest visit, whether it has started or it has ended. Next on the menu is hospitals. So basically the admin can view the hospitals who are registered with the platform along with the name, their status and their address. Also, he or she can change the status of, the, uh, of this particular hospital register. Also can add new hospitals. Same goes with the registered doctors on the platform. The admin has the whole and sole right to view every single detail about the doctor. Also can perform different actions like edit their profile, delete their profile or check the associated links with them. He or she can also add any new doctor on the platform. Just like uh, you can see one example over here. It also includes all the doctors registered details, the license details, also the charges. Next is the company. So the admin can also add a particular company in the platform. And once that company has been created and if there is any patient who is a part of that company, so that patient gets registered under that company's uh, name. So for example, we have added a particular company's name. So any employee or a part of this organization who comes on this uh, platform, registers himself or herself can also add the same company's name. Next is the pharmacy. So how many pharmacies are registered with the uh, platform along with their uh, active or inactive status same goes with it the same operations and also addition of new pharmacies or deletion of the existing pharmacies from the platform the admin can very easily control these things from the admin panel similarly lastly for the patients the uh, admin can check whether uh, that patient is actively using this platform he or she can also delete the registered patient same goes for business accounts all the businesses that are registered with the platform as we mentioned before user can also be added from the same area next is the all visits details so this is like one stop solution for all the visits uh, whether these visits have been uh, in progress or have they ended what was the payment type was it done through insurance or was it done through cash or what was the payment mode the lab test reports can also be viewed from here the exact date of appointment to which lab was assigned to perform the test what is the status of the same the admin can also view or basically download that test report the next option on the menu is the category under the main category there are specialty or primary cares that are registered these categories can also be added so these are for basically different type of medical services whether it's a rheumat or a pulmonology or an orthopedic uh, category so like that there are sub categories also that the admin can add there are lab categories also that the admin can add a lab can either provide one or all the services like 2D echo or x-ray or ultrasound and lastly the lab role so basically uh, the admin can view what is that particular labs um, service that is being provided the admin can basically add different types of lab roles also 
Next is the notifications. So every single notification that uh, goes on the platform uh, can basically be checked from here. Also any kind of new notification that the uh, admin wants to send as a push notification to whichever user so that can be controlled from here. The pending payment option as the name suggests uh, shows what are the payments that are still pending to the doctors and uh, basically admin can hit the show check button in order to view a particular payment. Payment history so whatever were the approved payments on the platform those can be viewed from the history of payment options. Cash payouts option on the menu in this admin panel basically shows which were the payments that were done in cash by a particular customer to the doctor. So if there is anything that's pending or receiving, if there's any missed appointments, those can also be checked from here. Now it is very important for the admin to know what is exactly going on on the platform. So the reports option allows the admin to view every single activity that is happening, every single booking that is being made or every single visit that is being made between the doctor and the customer or the patient. So those all can be viewed from here. There's an option to uh, convert or download this file in Excel, CSV or PDF format also. The filter and the search box also option also enable the admin to filter out a certain report that they want to view. There are also lab test reports that, the, uh, ge that were generated on the platform. So those can also be viewed by the admin over here. There is also a filter to help the admin search this in a better way. Under settings, the admin has the whole and sole right to basically launch a version update. These can either be the first updates or these can be optional updates. And what will be the other settings? That means the default admin percentage and why do we need this info PDF? So all these basic small, small PDFs or documents that are attached on the website or the what is the admin percentage out of every single uh, doctor's payment. So all of those things can be uh, basically controlled right from here. There's no coding required. This admin panel is very easy to use. It's very user friendly for the admin. Next is the logs. So these logs are basically created by the doctors and uh, these logs provide in general information about the bookings. So these are done both by the doctors as well as there are also pharmacy logs over here. Then there's the qualification. So uh, basically a doctor can uh, be either qualified for a particular uh, position on the platform or can register as a particular position and role on the platform. So there are certain qualifications that are preset by the admin. So those can be changed or edited right from here. Then next is the subscription plan. So there's a yearly or a monthly plan that the uh, uh, that the user can basically subscribe to and uh, that's how they can benefit when they are earning any kind of amount from the visits. This mainly benefits the admin also. It's a great model. Lastly, there's a subscription history that the admin can view who all had subscribed to which kind of a plan. And right side on the admin drop down, there's a profile, so the profile can be edited from there. There's a change password option for the admin to be accessed. And lastly, there's a logout option. So this is a very wholesome admin panel of a telemedicine app that we have built and designed by ourselves. So guys, this is all about the core features of this app. Other than that, there are many advanced features like lab management, staff management, hospital management, etc. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please get in touch with us to discuss more in a brief.